Let me ask you something real quick. What is the square root of 64? You probably did not even blink before saying, that's easy, it's 8. But what about the square root of 68? Suddenly, it is not so simple, right? You start guessing. Maybe a little more than 8? That is when it gets a bit tricky. But do not worry. In this video, I am going to show you an amazing ancient trick to estimate square roots of non-perfect squares in lightning speed. Stick around until the end, because I will also show you when not to use this method and how to avoid common mistakes, which everyone makes. All right, let us start first with the square root of 68. Step 1. Write down the squares of all the numbers from 1 to 10. Now find the perfect square number, which is just less than 68, here it is 64, and its square root is 8, and write it here. So we know our answer is 8 plus uh, some small fraction. Now take this 64 and subtract it from 68 from it. That gives you 4. Put that in the numerator here. Then, take this 8 and double it. That gives you 16. Put that here in the denominator. Now simplifying this, 4 over 16 is 1 over 4, which is 0.25. Adding this 8 to that, you get 8.25. The actual square root of 68 is about 8.246. So our estimate is super close and much faster than a calculator. Now let us try another example. The square root of 42. The perfect square number that is just less than 42 is 36, and its square root is 6. Write it here. Now subtract 36 from 42 to get 6 and multiple this with 2 to get 12. 6 over 12 is 1 over 2, or 0 0.5. Add that to 6, and you get 6.5. The actual square root of 42 is about 6.489. Once again, pretty amazing, right? Now try the square root of 56. The square number just less than 56 is 49, and its square root is 7. Subtract 49 from 56 to get 7. Double this 7 to get 14. 7 over 14 is again 1 over 2. So our estimated root is 7.5, and the actual value is 7.483. Again, incredibly close, isn't it? One more we will do this with lighting speed. Square root of 27, the perfect square just less than 27, is 25, and its square root is 5. Subtract 25 from 27 to get 2. Double this 5 to get 10. 2 over 10 is 0 0.2, so our answer is 5.2. The real square root is 5.196, nearly perfect. All right, now here is where you to be careful. Let us estimate the square root of 2 using this method. The square root just below 2 is 1. Its root is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Multiplying this with 2, we get 2. 1 over 2 is 0 0.5, so our estimate is 1.5 but the real square root of 2 is about 1.414, so we are a bit off. Now to improve this, we need to repeat this process using our estimate. So take 1.5 here, square it to get 2.25, write it here. Now 2 minus 2.25 equals negative 0.25. Multiply this 1.5 to get 3. Negative 0.25 over 3 is about negative 1 over 12. Subtract that from 1.5, we get 1.417. Boom, much better, right? This process of repeating estimates is known as the Babylonian method, developed by one of the oldest civilizations in Mesopotamia, modern day in Iraq. It was later rediscovered and generalized by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century as part of his famous newton raphson method. If you enjoyed this video and want to support what I do, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will drop another banger math trick just like this one. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep learning, keep solving, and keep having fun.